Virginia this morning live right here on CBS 6. Our great friend of the show, Mary Rappaport, I was just talking about her this morning with the Virginia Egg Council, shares some helpful tips that you can use the next time you entertain friends and family outside. Take a look. It's the time of year for outdoor entertaining, but nobody wants to deal with spoiled food or a bunch of bugs. Mary Rappaport from the Virginia Egg Council is here with some great ideas that will make your party planning a breeze. Good morning, Mary. How are you? I'm great. I'm so great. And you know, I'm outside of my patio here and um, I was, uh, I had some folks for dinner the other evening and I do all kinds of things to keep people comfortable when we're going to be eating outside at my house. And when I finished the next day, when one of them called me, she said, what did you do? She said, I usually get an eaten alive and I didn't. What did you do? And I said, well, I, uh, you know, I tell, I'll tell you what I did. But before we even start with the bug stuff, because that's always an issue, I want to talk about the food. You know, when we yes. invite people over to eat and we're outside, we sometimes forget that food Food is perishable and we have to be really careful. And when you send your gift, uh, guests home, you don't want to send them home with a foodborne illness, whatever you do. So I want you to all imagine there is a, a, a window, 40 degrees to 140 degrees. That is when bacteria grows. Mm. So guess what? It would be growing right now. That and just and and what it does is it grows exponentially. For example, It'll start right now with one bacteria. Let's say a fly lands on something that is prone to have like a, like um, chicken, fried chicken that's just kind of sitting there. The fly lands on it, it's been somewhere else that it picked up a bacteria, it puts it on the chicken. The chicken is sitting there. Well, in four minutes, there's it doubles. So you've got one bacteria, in four minutes, it's two. In four more minutes, it's eight. And it goes on like that in one hour, it's like 32,000 if you do oh, the math. Wow. So, so if the, um, so what you want to do is you want to keep the bacteria off. Mm -hmm. So, and you want to keep things cold. So when people come over, have the drinks, have the lemonade, have the snacks, then bring out all the food, nice and cold from the refrigerator or coolers if you're at a picnic and serve it right away. Then announce second helpings everyone because I'm putting it away. And then they get the second helpings and then put it all away. Because what happens is you're not supposed to leave food out for more than two hours normally. But if it gets over 90 degrees, which is going to do this summer, you can only leave it out for an hour. So that's super important. So the food, getting to the food, let's keep the food safe. We don't want bugs on it. You can buy these online. They're little net umbrellas or at the dollar store. You just Put them over the food and it keeps flies and whatnot off the food um and that that's a that's a big help that's now great and it's it's big enough that it doesn't touch the food or mess anything up because i know you always have such a beautiful display it just goes well, right over it you're right and you can get a couple of them if you can't get to you can't get one of these uh net umbrellas go to the fabric store and just buy yardage of net it's the cheapest fabric you can get it's really wide but you just put it over the whole table okay let's talk about bugs wasps of course this is a wasp thing you put it away from, and that's the thing don't put your bug stuff right there in front of everybody because you don't want the bugs coming to it mm -hmm. spray the whole area with different sprays but not the tabletop spray the table skirt the legs i'm talking about when i say the table skirt down here bugs tend to get people's legs so the legs of chairs the bushes make kind of a spray in the perimeter this is an all natural one this is all chemicals so, um this is something that i got that was really neat you push the button i don't know if you can see the light it just came on and at yeah. night it really does a great job i like it because they're portable you charge them ahead of time and then um the bugs go to it the other evening they were full of bugs that i just shook out afterwards i bought those online natural things uh, citronella candles, of course. This is, I wish you could smell this, it's lavender. Bugs don't like lavender, Ooh. so put huh. bowls of lavender around. If you have flies, get a fly ribbon, hang it somewhere away from you so the bugs go there. Mothballs are good too. Sprinkle mothballs around, they don't like those either. Um, this is original, original pine saw. 
wash the legs of the furniture with that and that helps. Here are some wristbands that you can give your guests as they come in that have some kind of probably horrible toxic thing on it, but it keeps the bugs away. Um, <laughs> citronella candles, of course. And then of course, when all else fails, you need an old fashioned fly swatter. So there you it. go. So, so there's some great things. The other thing I have found is that if you put fans around, this is a cool fan because it's, you can plug it in if you're near a plug or it's back battery operated. And I actually have a couple of these that I put in different areas. So it moves the air around, keeps people cool, but it also kind of keeps, you know, when you think about it, when you're on the ocean and there's that breeze, you don't have much, many bugs. So it just kind of keeps those um, bugs moving away. And then again, another fan to fan yourself. To keep nice. Yourself cool. My tips from you folks, from here, my house to you folks. <laughs> Mary, thank you so much. I think that you've helped so many people who are planning to have some outdoor activities or going to be entertaining outdoors. We're going to share all of Mary's tips on our website by early this afternoon. Thank you so much.